Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. Welcome to another episode of 25 Days of Christmas Movie Reviews here on Boomer Base. I'm one of your hosts, Ben. Say hello, Maddie. Hello. But before we get to the real content, if you end up liking what you see and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified anytime I upload. What a wonderful intro, Maddie. Good job. So today we're here to talk about my favourite Christmas film. Of all time, hands down, nothing can beat it. I'm afraid whatever you say is your Christmas film that's your favourite, wrong. <laughs> Utterly wrong. Um, it's Klaus from 2019. Had you watched this before, Mad? Yes, with you. I had also watched it before, <laughs> Maddie. And that was the only time that I watched it. Up until that point, Jingle All The Way was my favourite Christmas film. It's not a very good Christmas film, but it was always one that I just enjoyed every time I watched it. And then a few years ago... We watched Klaus as I'd seen it, put it on. After it, I was like, well, you're now my favourite Christmas film. And then now I've watched it for the second time. It's still your favourite Christmas And it's still my favourite Christmas film. I wanted to cry like five times in that film. It was so sad, so lovely, so heartwarming. It's a good, it it's is just a just, good film, nice. It's just a really good Christmas film. Mm. Like, it's just nice and warm and fuzzy. And that's what a Christmas film is to me. Not Home Alone. No, I don't like Home Alone. The Grinch it was alright. Christmas Carol was different, but it's a. There's stories that I like watching, but Klaus. And it's animated, which is a plus for us. Yes, we like animated. I love the sort of art style of Klaus. I don't know really what it is or what you would define the it art is. style yeah, as. Yeah, I know what you mean, but it is. It's like 2D with elements of 3D, and okay. I think it's almost like 2.5D randomly. But. Can we just make that up? No, I think 2.5D is a thing. Okay. I think it's between 2 and 3D. Okay. Um, I think. I, I think I think it's a real thing. I don't know. But, so, man, what was Klaus about? Um, this spoiled kid whose dad is in charge of a mailman. Mailman. The postal general. service. Yeah, that's it. The postal, the postal service. service. The head of the postal service. And he's supposed to be in like postman training. Yep. It's like it's like cadet or like marine training, like army, like base camp training. But postman. <laughs> um, and he's doing fuck all, so he's there's punishment that sends him off to. It's um, like Smitherinsburg. Smi- Smearinsburg. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we had some bits on the screen. It's just like right. <laughs> Shows this nice little map. It's a nice little island right at the top, away from everything. Um, and that's where you get sent. With his little horse and cart, or Shetland pony and cart. Yeah. Um, he goes along to the island. Oh, yeah. Um, meets a man on a boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he tricks him into pulling a bell. Yeah. Ringing a bell. Oh, yeah. Which um, creates a massive fight in the town square of the island because... Um, the, the two sides of the island, two families are at war and have been for like fucking millenniums. The Ellen Bows and the Crumbs. Um, and then he decides that he needs to <laughs> get them to post loads of letters so he can go back home. 6,000 letters. His dad sent, set him a target of 6,000 letters for the year. and so Which is a lot, to be honest. It was a lot. So he... Um, how did it start? There's a little kid in the window, wasn't it? Yeah, he, there's a kid that loses his drawing, and then he has that, and then he goes. An he goes to see, um, Klaus, and Klaus gives him a toy, and they basically it's pretty much just the origin of Santa Claus, which is just really warming. Just to skip like the children, yeah, just send letters to Klaus, and Klaus was a previous toy maker, him and his wife, but then his. They wanted children of their own. But never had kids. And his wife died. <laughs> and it was so sad. So he kept all these toys. So and these were the toys that he was given to the children of the town. And one good good deed sparks another. Mm. Don't it, man? And then we meet a little Eskimo girl. Margu. Something like that. Fairly sure it was Margu. You got some, got some hair. Got fluff, yeah. Got some fluff. Got some Margu. Fluff. And then they end up becoming like the Santa's helpers and things. She's adorable. She is. She's a good listener. Yeah, they all um, help him with the workshop, don't they? All of her like um, tribe. I don't know what they're called. 
we'll go with dry, probably the nicest way. Um, but And they're like his little owls. But yeah, it's nice. Just like that it does that very conventional sort of domino effect of it just sparking other good things happening and uh, mm. slowly turns smetherin, smet, whatever the fuck it's called. Don't scroll back. Smeerenberg. <laughs> Smeerenberg. Smeerenberg. We'll go with S-Town. Um, you know, Miss Alva, um, she's the teacher there that wanted to be a teacher and is saving up to move out, you know, and from him um, essentially doing the sort of post things. Jesper. Um, they're struggling with some fluff there. <laughs> <laughs> <Or something. laughs> Actually, yeah. um, you know, from... <laughs> I can just hear you. Um, from Jesper trying to sort out... Um, all the letters and things and kids wanting to learn how to write. <laughs> <laughs> Vigorous flick. Um, they started to want to come to school and then she slowly starts spending money on sorting the kids for school and teaching them to write and learn. She had part of money to leave the town, wasn't yeah. it? That she earned through her fish. From selling a rot- <laughs> rotten fish. <laughs> selling a rotten fish, which was nice. And then the two clans, people of the Ellenbow and the Crumbs. They all shacked up. Yeah, they formed a truce to take out Klaus and Jesper and the all this goodness. So they formed peace to stop peace. But, and it was the Woody's partner from Toy Story 2. That's the voice of the leader of the clan, right. of the crumbs. J.K. Simmons was the voice of Klaus. And Jason Schwartzman was the voice of Jesper, which was pretty cool. He plays Spot in the new Spider-Man movie. And things, and then he was Gideon Graves and Scott Pilgrim, so pretty cool. And then at the end, Klaus basically dies, but it's like he just fades away and becomes Santa Claus instead, doesn't he? Becomes the legend of Santa Claus, and that's how it all. That's how like, because they at the end of the film they built like a biz. They made a business, didn't they? Expanded their business to basically. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I'm just smiling at you. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Can see your mouth moving into a smile. It's not just smiling at you. Right, he threw me in there. Uh, yeah, they created a business, a business to expand, um, basically delivering toys to the whole world, didn't they? Instead of just their island. Yeah. Um, so essentially doing Santa Claus's job, and then when Klaus dies, he does it. Well, his legend basically does it, doesn't he? And I assume Jasper doesn't do it anymore. I assume he's just a normal postman after that. I assume so. I don't. It doesn't really explain. Because he says that he sees his friend once a year. Yeah. Which was just so nice. I know. And he's got two little kids with the teacher. That is my only gripe that you don't see. I'm sure they met, but you don't see their children with Klaus. Because I think he'd don't. be a great surrogate granddad, wouldn't he? It he would have been absolutely He would have been the adorable. best granddad. But, I, yeah, I would, would have wanted to see that. I mean, you wouldn't ever really need a Klaus too, but I'd just quite happily have a Klaus too. Or he comes back. He would have to. That's the thing, though. He would have to come back because Klaus would have to be in it with Jesper to to make Klaus too. Do you know what I mean? So he'd have to come back in some way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what capacity or what story they there could conjure be a up. Klaus too, really. But I'd take a Klaus too. Yeah. So. I'll Google it right now. Klaus two. Is there going to be any form of Klaus two? Why we won't be getting a sequel? Oh, look at that. That's just sad. Well, I'm happy. He don't want a a second one, so we won't get rolled out a second one that's with a crummy story just for the sake of it. Exactly. I'm happy. Klaus best is to keep it like that. Klaus is the best Christmas film. I quite will happily watch this maybe one or two more times during the Christmas period, just because it makes me feel warm and fuzzy in a good way. It's exactly what a Christmas film I want, which is really nice. Everything looked nice. The song by Zara or whatever her name is. I don't know what In- she's Invisible or such a cool song in the film. Really like it. It is a good song. Ten out of ten. I think it's a I think it's a film that I think a fair amount of people have watched now. But I think there is still a fair amount that haven't watched this. But this is quite easily a film that I would comfortably watch every Christmas. So it's not a film that people talk about when talking about their favourite Christmas films. No, I think that's sad. Mm. Arthur Christmas is another one of my like. I really like. I don't enjoy it as much. But, no. 
Elf's the one we tend to watch every year, isn't it? You mean you're forced into watching every year? Because it's my family tradition. I mean, I still like Elf, it's just... I, I completely understand. It's just, to me, it's special because it's the only Christmassy Christmas film my dad actually Hey, is thank you for watching the video. Sure he'll like to click the button to keep watching, why? or click the other because video for more videos. And, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you went to see it at cinema. So it's sentimental, that's why he likes it so much. And that's why I like watching it with well, you. you'll get to watch it twice this year, Elf's on our list to do. and then. Mum said that we're not watching it at Christmas this year because you complained. <laughs> I watch clouds so again. So we're not we're not allowed, <laughs> apparently. So that's a bit rude. Me and Dad might watch it on our own. Nah, I'll still watch Elf. And Die Hard. That's our other family. Oh tradition. yeah, I'd rather watch Elf over Die Hard. Fucking hell. I know it's not Christmassy, but no, it's it's a Die Hard Christmas is a Christmas show. film. It's just that it doesn't make me feel Christmassy. Oh yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it does make me feel Christmassy only because we tend to watch it every year on Christmas Eve. So do you know what I mean? I, know, I don't but tend you, to watch it any other time of the year. If you had to pick between Elf, Die yeah, Hard and Elf. Klaus, which film makes you feel Christmassy? Elf. Oh, you're wrong. To me, Elf will be, would be, yeah, my fave. Lies. Uttered. Elf is Christmassy. It is. I understand Die Hard isn't, isn't Christmassy like the others. I understand Klaus is, but Elf is more Christmassy than Die Hard. Not, I meant the Klaus, sorry. Alpha is more Christmassy than Clowns. Yeah. And it's New York at Christmas, and that's even better. No. But no. You got any negatives to say about Klaus? Just that he didn't get to meet their children. I think they missed a trick there. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> that much anything. That would have been thing. adorable. It would. It would have been an utterly... It would have added to it. Especially, oh, can you imagine if they had a scene where he like rocked up at the door and she was either pregnant or he found out that she was pregnant would have been amazing. He was like, and he would have been like, "Could you have been? Could you be their granddad?" And it'd have been so amazing. Or if they named the boy after him or the girl after his wife. Or... I know it'd have been so so amazing. Would have been adorable. It would. That's the only gripe. God damn it! You missed out on a good opportunity there. But other than that, it's easily my favorite Christmas film. I'm fairly sure it's at least up there. Yeah. In your favorite Christmas films. It is. I'll take that. That's a win for me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't watched Klaus, make sure you. Watch Klaus. That's all I can say. If you don't watch Klaus, you're missing out. Pretty much. You're Klausing out. <laughs> it was worth it for that eye roll. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tune in for the next Christmas film that we do. Any indication of what it's going to be? No. No. Tune in. Take care now. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> See, <laughs> See you later. later. See you later. I didn't click stop recording. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching. Or click the other video for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.